Hello everyone and welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Capricorn for the week of October 2nd through the 8th of 2023. And I would also like to thank everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow as well as those who have been giving my channel a thumbs up letting me know you've watched and enjoyed my videos and left beautiful comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. And your first card out. The Page of Swords. That's all right. It's telling you that it's going to be a little bit of a disagreement perhaps this week. Maybe you've already gone through it or felt it. You know, something that has been brewing under the surface for a while and now you've gotten a little more insight, understanding what has happened or what was said. And, you know, and if this is in a relationship, now a relationship doesn't have to mean that it's, you know, your partner. This can be in a relationship, in a job, in a family, in friendships, you know, but you're going to stand your ground. You're watching how you're saying things to people. You're being very diplomatic, but you're also going to stand your ground if need be. And the four of rods. So there you are. You're on solid ground this week for sure. You're determined. You're looking forward. You have a opportunity to move. You know, want to know what you want to do, where you want to go, that sort of thing. And you're rewarding yourself this week because you've been working hard for a long time on many things in your life. And this is the week that you're finally saying that, you know what? It's time I have something. So that's very nice don't do that very often so you've earned it and the ten of rods there you are you know putting down the burdens allowing yourself to breathe a little bit again it's been quite some time you know a long time coming for many of you maybe you've been you know trying to help somebody else but it's turned into your job you know not that you're being paid for it but they're always relying on you to, you know, pick up the pieces, help them out. And you're just, it's become now a burden to you. It's weighing you down, you know. So you're allowing yourself to say, no, no, enough. And the Queen of Swords. So definitely, you know, saying what you need to do. You're finding the courage to do it. And it's not always easy, you know, to verbally say something to somebody. You're going to do it, like I said, very diplomatically. But you're also going to do it. You're going to tell the truth. You're going to face it whether you want to or not. Because you need to put those pentacles down. Or the, the rods down. The ten of rods. Because it's become so much of unnecessary for you to carry those much burdens. You're going to let people try to stand on their own two feet for a while because it's due and when you do there comes the ten of pentacles so there may be an inheritance here maybe there's money in the picture maybe you've come into a little bit of money maybe there's money in the mail it's unexpected you know long lost relative friend sometimes you know they always hear those stories about you know you help the gentleman you know you give him two dollars to pay for his coffee and he turns out to be a billionaire and and, uh, yeah, finds out that, you know, you're working nine to five and pays your house off, that sort of thing. But there is money definitely coming in. And you're going to be quite happy when it does because it's going to give you that boost of burdens gone. And now you have a little bit of money. And now what do I do? You know, I can do something. What do I want to do first? And there you are. Three of cups. Celebrate enjoy yourself good times good friends maybe you know you haven't heard from somebody for a long time and they've invited you saying you know hey i'm having an anniversary or a birthday or maybe you yourself are and you're asking people to go visit you but you know when you go you're going to be very happy that you did you get along with the people you're having a good time nothing can hold you back you just feel that whole zest for life you know, you just want to just let your hair down and, and enjoy yourself without burdens and worry. And the Ace of Swords. So very nice. 
you know, you're starting to relish the thought of moving forward with more clarity. You're feeling the pressures, you know, coming off your shoulder and you can see, you know, some sort of path ahead of you and something that really speaks to your heart, something you want to do just for you, you know, instead of always trying to help others, you're, it's not selfish to help yourself. So that's beautiful. And the King of Cups. You're definitely enjoying yourself. You're motivated to making changes. You have good ideas of what you want to do. You're realizing what it takes to get there. You have a plan of action moving forward. And you're going to really step into this because it's something you want to do. Something you've been thinking about for quite some time. And this could be a trip too for some of you. Maybe you've wanted to do something for a long time and, you know, talk to a relative, you know, or maybe a relationship that has gone, you know, a little bit sour. Who knows why? And you just want to salvage it. And, and move forward and be more happy and you, won't, you don't want any more problems and you just have more forethought of what you want and the efforts that you're willing to put in. You're no longer going to put yourself out there to the point of exhaustion because it looks like you've been, you know, running 10 ways to Sunday here and now you're reining it back in, bringing yourself back together so that you can, you know, Breathe for yourself, trust in yourself, and move yourself forward. You know, you're pulling yourself out of that proverbial pit of endlessness and just trying to make sure that, you know, you've got clarity, you're understanding where you're going, and you're moving on that, which is really nice. Yeah, there you are. You've learned that, you know, you had to close some doors behind you so that you can you know, move forward. And yes, sometimes it's sad to let go of people, places and things, but you also realizing that it's the next step in the evolution of your movement. And so, you know, you'll spend that time, but you're still moving forward because you know it's time for you. So that's really good. Yeah, and then the universe is going to help you. You know, it's a lucky card, it's tangible goods, material gains. You're feeling more empowered with yourself after you do that. And you're, you know, you're getting financial advice on how to go about it for some of you. Maybe you're trying to, you know, make an investment in, you know, some sort of stocks and bonds and you've never done it before. So now you're talking to somebody who could get you on that path, that sort of thing. But you're definitely moving forward you know this is a good time for you to follow your dreams if you have a dream job that you've been thinking about you know going and applying for go and apply for it and the two of pentacles yeah it's okay you know sometimes we like i said you've taken on a, a lot here and you're just realizing that that's not a stable way for you. You're not happy. You're always trying to walk on eggshells to keep everybody else around you. And that's not a way for you to live. And you don't want to keep staying like that. So before you drop a pentacle, you're going to put one down and let other people deal with their own things. And the four of pentacles. Yeah, you're watching your P's and Q's, hanging on to your money, making good investments, making sure that you know, all the bills are paid and you're going to have stuff for a rainy day. Uh, maybe you've put off doing something that you wanted to do or something you wanted to buy or go somewhere because you didn't want to spend that little bit of extra because am I going to get it back? You know, and maybe in your past, every time you did something like that, it turned out that you needed that little extra money, but it was gone now. And that's why you've learned to hang on so tightly. But you'll be okay. And the Fool card. So there you go. You're definitely dusting yourself off. You're believing in yourself more. It's almost like blind faith. You're stepping forward. You're starting over. You know, you've learned to 
listen to yourself and your dreams a little bit more and allow yourself to move forward because you're realizing that, you know, yes, your bills are paid for, your files are all in order, and you realize what you need to do to set yourself in motion going forward. So that's beautiful. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel or cards, but your cards are very positive. You're standing your ground. You're realizing what you got to do for yourself moving forward here. And that's a big step for anybody. And once you decide to do it, it's going to go exactly how you thought it was going to, So, which is beautiful. All right. New psychic and spiritual experiences are changing the way you view the world and yourself. Allow your spiritual guides to open through spiritual gifts to open through study, prayer, and meditation. All right, and on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will talk to you again next week. Bye for now.